what's going on? Joe Coffey here. We're at the Shaker Microphones booth, and I've got Shaky Joe himself with me. Shaky, how you doing? Hi, Joe. Good to meet you. Good to see you. Hey, uh, you are known in the harmonica community for having a really solid handheld microphone, but guitar players are getting hip to the crystal element in uh, one of these mics. So I just wanted to give you a chance to take us through what you do. Let's start off with the, uh, the Retro Rocket. Okay. The Retro Rocket is a mic we came out with about three years ago, and it's a shakerized bullet mic. This is the Retro Rocket recording, and we build this mic basically for heart players. It's a shakerized bullet mic. It's crystal element. It's about 40% uh, smaller than traditional bullets, and it's ergonomically shaped so it really fits in the hand. But what uh, this does is, is, as far as relates to guitar players, a lot of guitarists are calling us going, hey, I've been using this for recording my dobro. Uh, and it's extremely clean, but it's real sensitive to proximity. So what they're doing is using like uh, uh, old timing, like old brother, where art thou type stuff, where you move into the microphone to get a different effect. It's extremely clean, but then when it breaks up, it gets ratty real fast. Okay, so we've had many, there's many albums where they've used this as far as recording. So we decided to go ahead and put an XLR connector on it so that it would be able to go into a uh, mic stand or into a butterfly clip and you can mic a cabinet with it really easy. What about the worry of SPLs? I mean, if it's got a crystal element, it's going to break up a lot. I mean, is that just part of the old school vibe you're getting with this thing? It is. It is. It's real sensitive to... Like, if you're, are you six inches away or seven and a half, you know? You have to know exactly where you want to put it. Uh, one engineer that just did something told me he had it uh, 21 inches away from the speaker, which that's a long ways away from most applications. But it's, you know, it's, it's like, uh, what did the guy say in the old movie, we don't need no stinking technology? <laughs> no, but I mean, this is a, a high-tech crystal microphone, if you, you can get that your mind around that concept. Very cool, so that's the shaker. Retro, Retro Rocket, Rocket Recording. recording. Okay. Right. And you've got some other stuff uh, you want to take us through as well. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, we came out with two, uh, we revamped our mic line this year. Uh, got new uh, injection molding, and this is our Mad Cat mic, which this is probably, uh, we consider it the most perfect blend of form and function. When you're playing harp, it's like you've got... It all works as one unit. So that's your gain right there. Yeah, this is the volume, and the volume works within one third of a turn. It's not a full rotation. So what you can do, you got it full up, and just by rolling your finger a little bit, you can do volume swells and have control over it. But you can play all day. It's totally, there's no effort. It stays right in your hand. It weighs about three ounces. It's a dynamic element, uh, and it resists feedback really well. There's, there's even a group of guys playing like real aggressive, almost metal here in L.A. and stuff. Uh, Robert Gage was their instructor and uh, John LaLanne, basically, uh, playing in front of a stack of marshals. And he doesn't get feedback. So, And then this is like the big brother to that. This is our brand new one. This is called a Mad Dog. We just This is the first show. You are the first people to see this. It's just got a bigger pod on the bottom with a... a a different element that gives it a very buttery. Everybody hears it says, wow, that's a buttery sound. It's very smooth and creamy. And I've played it in like three clubs and so far people have come up and said, wow, you sound like Paul Butterfield. Not that I'm that good. <laughs> it's not me, but it's the tonality of the mic is very Butterfieldish, I guess you'd say. Same thing with the volume control right there. Our, our harmonica playing guitar players are just going to freak out. We're actually like going through some harp mics. This is very cool. There are a lot of bands for uh, it's 14 years now that we've been building these. Uh, the Outlaws, Chris Hicks started. He was he used one of these for years and years when the Outlaws toured, and he had to do his guitar part. So he would grab this to do the harp part, and then he would just drop it, and the roadies would snake it off the stage. They called it the Amazing Snaking Mic or something. But they're real tough. They weigh three and a half ounces. They've got a real uh, strong lower mid-range. Uh, like John Gendick said, it's like molasses in December. It's got its own tonality. Uh, also, this is the one Steven Tyler used with uh, Aerosmith. I mean, we've had a lot of major, major players use it. Uh, I think Walk on Water 
uh, with uh, Aerosmith was done with this. Uh, we've heard the uh, honking on Bobo, a lot of that was done with it. We don't know a lot. You know, people tell us, but you don't really know it for sure. But this is a beautiful mic. Um, uh, Pierre Lecoq from Mississippi Heat. They've got like five CDs out that have been done with this totally. Are you familiar with any guitar players kind of trying to appropriate these the same way you can with a retro rocket recording? No, no. But we do know that Straight up right here. there's a lot of guys in the Northwest that are using these for uh, vocals with the like metal or uh, grunge bands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sax players have mounted them in saxophones, you know, and uh, it's got what sax players call a very brown sound. Yeah. Okay, and it has almost the cool part is it has no feedback. You can the feedback is so controlled you can actually play it. That's why like uh, Fingers Taylor uh, with the Jimmy Buffett band uh, used this for years and years. The because you know he always had trouble with feedback with Jimmy Buffett band, and once he started using this, they didn't have any problems anymore. So you'll see it, you know, you hear it on a lot of those albums. This is a very cool mic. First time it's been out. This is the lowest, we believe, lowest price harmonica mic that's on the market. This is How called, much? This is the WSB. We survived Bush. Okay. What's this retailing for? 70, $74.95. So we don't know what the street price will be. But it's a pro quality crystal element. It's got a 10 foot cord that's hardwired into it. And it, it plays awesome, you know? It's a great backup mic. It's a good introductory mic. Well, Shaky Joe, where can people go online to find out more about your stuff? Shaker Microphone at shakermicrophone.net, right? All right, thanks a lot, Shaky. Appreciate it. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.